everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some Final Fantasy IX. Let's go to Bedancery. Because somebody stole something, because they're jerks. I'm home! I'm home! So many Moogles! Mako told me the news. Are you alright? Come now, talk later, Koopo. Koopo, Koopo. Hey, Eiko. We better follow her. Yeah, probably. It's probably a good idea. Yes, Garnet and Final F in the third disc is less useful in battle, but storyline-wise, I really like what they did with her. And I will explain why once we get to that portion of the game. Go for the door, Zidane! God, it's not that hard. Dun, dun, dun. Doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo. What's going on, Aka? It's... It's... The precious stone that's been passed down in this village for generations is gone! My grandparents said... They said that we should take care of it because it's a symbol of the summoner's heritage. Then why did you put it in a better chest? Well, how about crying for a change? It'll help. I'm not gonna cry! I'm a grown-up now and crying won't help one bit! You're, like, six? Alright, how about we start looking for clues? I'll help, too. Hiccup. Is it... Hiccup. Is it my fault? Is it because I broke my promise and opened the Ifa tree seal? Everyone. Everyone was watching over the stone. There you go. It's just happened that way. It wasn't your fault. Besides, we're the ones who made you open the seal. You understand, right? The real villain is the thief who stole it. So, let's just look for some clues and get that stone back, okay? Hiccup. Okay. Aww. I wasn't gonna cry, you know. After all, I'm a grown-up. We know, Echo. But if you feel like crying, just cry. I'm gonna pray to my grandparents. I'll be right back. That's a bad idea. You know, if you need to, you can cry too, Dagger. My shoulder's always available. Yeah, thanks. What about you, Zidon? What do you do when you need to cry? Oh, I get real clingy when I'm sad. Oh god, that face! Cut it out! Hey, I was serious. No, he wasn't. I heard a scream. I didn't hear anything. It sounded like Aiko. Damn it, the thief's still here. Zidane, I saw her. It's that girl from Fossil Row. She took Aiko. They went to the Idolin wall. Let's go. Okay. I'm gonna take this, though. No, I want it. No, give it here. No! Wait, what? Did I just go past the... I don't even know. No, go back inside. There's a chest there. A chest and I want it. Survival vest. Cool. Phoenix down. Also cool. How is it on? Wait, wait, let's go look at his sprite figure for a second. No! No, no, no. Get back there. Damn pixely graphics. <laughs> okay. Well, this game has things like not doing victory pose because I feel like crap. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He's already got a survival vest on. What was that? Mm. Nope, nope, nope. I know it's coming up, so we're not gonna give that to him. But. Hmm. Double. Hmm. Yes. Unless... 
God damn it! This person- the save file that I pulled off the internet doesn't have the moonstone. Darn it! Oh well. I'm not doing an Excalibur run here. Ever thought Garnett is wearing a skin-tight outfit still to annoy day and like, Look at my booty, you ain't getting any. <laughs> oh! It's her traveling outfit! It makes sense! Tell us if there's anything we can do for you. Heal us. Peek inside. This is no way to treat a lady! What's this... What's this wing ornament on your back? It makes you so easy to pick up. My grandpa gave it to me! Get your grubby hands off of it! Oh, shut up. And just be still until he gets here. Okay, Lottie. You are mean. Wait, hey, what? I found a treasure coupon! Use it for Echo Coupon. Ooh. I already have one of those, though. Uh, where's Mog? Was Mog captured, too? Nope, Ro Mog is right here behind me! Mog ran away! Mog, I need your help to save Aiko. Kubo! I got an idea. It's alright, you won't be in any, in any danger. Kubo! It's no use. Mog's always been a coward! Wow. Yeah, well, we gotta do something. Let's go save her! Alright, let's go! Actually, as somebody who has Garnet, actually has Garnet's jumpsuit, it is quite comfortable. And actually very easy to move around in. Well, there's my good Sir Knight. What have you done to Aiko? She was too rambunctious, so I put her to sleep with sleeping weed. Sleeping weed, eh? Then she's probably sleeping well, looks at Garnet. <laughs> if it's my pendant you're after, then leave the others out of it. No can do. This is way too convenient to pass up. Hand over your pendant, and I'll hand over the girl. Capiche? What happened to the pendant that you always have on? Uh, oh, wait, what? He has it, but she's wearing it. You can see it in the, her character model. I have it. Oh, you really are a good knight. So cough it up already. First, tell me something. Was it you who stole the village stone? Queen Braun is after the royal pendant. I find another jewel just like it in this village. I am glad I came all this way looking for it. Now hand it over. If only Aiko was conscience. Conscious. Conscious? Conscience? Conscience. Hold on. You're plotting something, aren't you? Stay right there. Grrrr. You, Black Mage. Uh huh? Uh, me? Bring me the pendant. Remember, do as I say if you value this brat's life. Sit on. Do it, Vivi. Uh, okay. Oh. Ha! <laughs> what happened to the pendant you're always wearing? Why do you think I'm facing you without turning so the player doesn't notice it? But I can see it right now. I can see Garnet wearing the pendant. <laughs> Hold it. Oh wait, we have to get Amaran's voice again. <clears throat> I don't know who you think you are, but thanks! Dot dot dot. Yeah. Yo, can you stand? Huh? What's going on? Gasp. Where's that old hag? Oh, that's it. Who are you calling an old hag? You! So, the table's turned. Now hand over the jewel you stole. What are you trying to do, Red? I thought you were supposed to be the number one bandit. Oh god, I love Amran's um, music. I've seen him before. He's the one with the water horses all over Treno. <clears throat> I'm not here to help. I just want to be fair. What are you talking about? Leave the jewel and get out of here. What? We're partners on this job. I don't work with hostage-taking scumbags. Now get lost. Or would you rather fight me? 
Mark my words. I'll collect the bounty on you someday. <laughs> awesome music cue. <laughs> now, fight me! Just a second here, what's going on? I told you, I'm not here to help. I just want to level the playing field. Fair enough, let's do it. Sedan, it's okay. I was just looking for more ways to impress you. Really? <laughs> really, Zidane? Okay, let's steal stuff. Stole poison knuckles. Okay. Can't do much when he's not up front. Damn it! Oh, I can still steal. No way. Here I go. Okay. Ha ha! You missed, you bastard. Scarlet Hair. His name is Scarlet Hair. I forgot about that. Okay. You know what? Bog. Wait, what? I didn't mean to steal. Damn it, game. He's just hopping around there. Dun, da, 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 da. I'm going to take a Actually attack this time. It's because he's dodging around before. And when he's jumping around, it gives you a chance to heal. Okay, I'll just attack you then. Bog. I like bonking, guys. Bog, 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 bog. Hello, new person in the Twitch chat. I am playing Final Fantasy IX. And I am attacking a Scarlet Hair. Who just doesn't want to die. Please cause Zidane to trance. If you cause Zidane to trance, then awesome things happen. Like I kill you in one hit. Okay, person I haven't seen in a while. It takes a while for me to recognize people's usernames. Attack! Bonk. It's less entertaining when there's only sit on here. No, don't cause me to trance! Die before trancing! Die before trance! Damn it! <laughs> Solution 9. Can't say nothing to a solution nine, Mr. Amorant. Bonk. 4,565 points of damage. <laughs> Zidane goes bright pink. Hmm. Uh, there we go. 
go get some water. Hey, we love sparkly folk around here. I lost. Go on! Finish me! Can you stand? Dot dot dot. Give back what you stole. He didn't steal anything, it was Lonnie! Dun 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 dun. Aiko, I got it back. Now! Finish me! You wanna die that bad? I just spared your life. So, you want to banish me then? You can go if you want, I won't follow you. Ha! Trying to trick me, eh? Trick you? I tried to kill you. Why are you letting me go? The fight's over and we're both still alive. Good enough, right? We got back what was stolen from us, after all. Listen to you. I lost to some spineless thief. The sly eagle doesn't kill it when. <laughs> okay, so Zidane's suddenly a philosopher. Keep that in a safe place. I will. Thanks, Zidane. Well, you're not gonna leave me alone after what just happened, are you? Huh? I'm going. Wow, Aiko wears the pants in that relationship. Shall we? Okay. Oh, I can't do this yet. I have to do that later. Do 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 I have this? Do I have this? No. Hello. You're pretty good. Thanks for asking her. Hello. Ah, let me go through the door. Thank you. Darn it, game. She's been quiet the whole time. Sedan, let me ask you something. My grandfather told me not to leave the village until my 16th birthday. But I want to go with you guys. I really do. Do you think it's okay if I leave the village? I'll agree if that's what you want. Aiko, come with us and forget what your grandpa said. It doesn't matter what I say. You've already made up your mind. Dot 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 dot. <laughs> what if they said no, don't come with us? Would Aiko just stalk them? You don't have... Don't you have something to say to her, Vivi? Huh? Dot dot dot. Couples moment. Remember when you taught me at the Ifa tree? You said I shouldn't ever lie to myself. I'll try to be more honest with my own feelings. You should too, Aiko. Hmm. <laughs> Aw. I forgot my own advice, Vivi. Thanks. I'll wear the jewel as an earring. It'll be okay then, right, Zidane? Is she just have an earring making apparatus right there? Aiko? I think Mog wants to talk to you. And now, and now Garnet can talk to Weevils. Koopo! Koopo! What? You think I'm mad at you? I'm furious! You went off without me again. You promised me you wouldn't. What would you do? What would you do if you went off and got into trouble? Koopo! Oh well. Thank goodness we're both all right. Plus, Aiko, if you don't come with us, awesome hilarity won't happen at the beginning of disc three. <laughs> You're always nice to Mog, aren't you, Aiko? Well, yeah, we're best friends after all. We were born on the same day and we've always been together. This is our first friendship ri This is our friendship ribbon. Mog gave it to me. Mog, do you have the same ribbon I gave you? Koopa! Aww. This is the one I gave to Mog. It's too big for her now, but once we're both sophisticated ladies, we'll wear them together. Koopa! 
Maybe then, Sadan, you'll dance with me? God damn it, Aiko. Sadan? I didn't know Maud was a girl. <laughs> Just completely oblivious. I wonder where Dagger went. <laughs> and immediately just thinking of Dagger. Well, she's obviously- wait, what? I can hear a song. Dagger? Oh, it's this scene! Oh god, this scene! From down there? Dagger, are you there? <laughs> and there's no easy entrance. <coughs> this is a dawn. It's okay, keep singing. Because it's our song, right? I'm surprised you found this place. You got the talent to be a bandit. How about you and me team up? We'll call ourselves the betrothed. My talent's up to snuff, but that name isn't. <laughs> okay, feels time. <laughs> You're really something these days. If I am, I must have gotten it from you. Nah, it's because you made the effort to learn. No, it's because you stuck with me. Without you, I, would, I couldn't have made it to Limbla, much less a whole new continent. Everything I tried to do on my own was a total failure. I couldn't stop my mother. At times, I almost lost hope. You helped me so much, and not just you either. Yeah. Vivi and Aiko helped out the Ivy Tree. Kino was real helpful when we left the continent. Freya, Steiner, and even Beatrix, who I thought was our enemy. I haven't forgotten. I want to believe everyone is alright, but sometimes I just can't. Oh, I hope I can live up to the hopes of everyone who has helped me. You don't have to feel so responsible, Dagger. But I do! Nobody wants you to feel that way. They didn't do it for you, just you either. Each was following his own path. His own path. Well, what about you? Huh? Why did you come with me? Oh, God, the feels. Hey, that's Ibsen's line. Ibsen? Who's that? Ibsen's a character from a play, but he's a real-life adventurer. I think the play is based on his adventures. It kind of goes like this. Ibsen and his good friend Colin worked at a tavern in Treno. One day, Ibsen got a letter. A letter was so wet from rain that most of the writing was illegible. The only part he could read said, come back home. Nowadays we have airships and stuff, but back then it was really hard to travel. He didn't know why he had to go back, but he got some time off, gathered his things, and set out on his journey home. He walked a thousand leagues through the mist. Sometimes he was attacked by vicious monsters. He made it at Uh, okay, that bee is cut off for me. But he made it because his friend Colin was by his side. And then, after much time on the road, he, sa he had to ask Colin something. Ibsen, you fuck, I hate your house, says the chat. Why did you come with me? And what was Colin's answer? Only because I wanted to go with you. Nah, oh, the feels! The feels! The feels, they are too much. So many feels! Sadan. That's wrong button. Uh, I. I love you. <laughs> Dagger? Can't you. Can't you hear the song? Huh? Yeah, it's that song. How come? Who's singing it? Gasp. The sunset makes the Adolin wall look like it's on fire. I've seen this somewhere before. What? Where? Dun dun dun!
Barnett is having technical difficulties. That's them trying to escape. Escaping. And she made it all the way to the Mist Continent from there in that dinky little boat. Wow. Dagger! Why does it look like he's touching her boob? Dagger, wake up! Cutscenes, they're working! <laughs> yep. Where's Vivi? I bought a new copy of the game, remember? He's sleeping. I didn't want to wake him. Welp. <laughs> I have no memory of my early childhood. I never really thought about it. Besides, nobody ever told me. I was raised in Alexandria, but only from the age of six or so. Six? Where were you till then? Until then. Until I turned six. I must have been here, in Madain Sari. Oh, <gasps> Gasp! <coughs> I still can't remember everything. Some things are like the shrouded in fog. Magic! But I remember one thing. About ten years ago, an unbelievably huge, hu huge hurricane hit this village. That's as far as I remember. I don't think it was a hurricane. That day, I, I was with my true mother on this little boat far from the village. There was a cave, a cove behind Ego's house, right? The boat I was on was just like the one there. It all came back to me when I heard that song on the boat. That song from Medine Suri. So that's why nobody else knows it. How'd you get how'd you get to Alexandria? How come you get to be a princess? How come you don't have a summoner's horn? I don't know, but maybe Dr. Top can tell me about the lady who protected me from the storm as the boat lurched about in the waves. My biological mother, who died on that boat. The woman she thought was her mother became someone else, and her true mother was already dead. Daggers lost two mothers. Oh, the feels! I'm like all... Ugh. Yes. Still a better song than Eyes on Me. I used to pray every day here at the Eidolon Wall. You too? You pray here too, Eiko. Obviously. She's already said she was gonna go pray there. I'm so happy I'm so happy I remembered. I actually like Eyes on Me. <laughs> Dagger! Welcome home. Ah, oh, the feels! You guys can't see it, but I'm just whinging around in my seat. Ah, the feels. The feels. I just realized I'm not alone anymore. Oh. Yep, I made up my mind. Zidane, Dagger, I'm going with you. I'll be breaking my promise to my grandpa, but I want to go. Besides, grandpa always told me to be honest with myself. I don't know what the future holds. But I want to finish what I came here for. So do I. Let's all go together. Duh! Come on, Dagger, let's go pray together. All right. Hmm, <laughs> feels. <coughs> Goddamn coughing sickness bullcrud. I still don't know what I should do. By the time we defeat Kuja and return to Alexandria. Grandpa, I'll be back soon. Oh, you're coming with us? Hey, why the long face? Oh, uh, nothing. My face is always like this. That's racist, Ego. Mug's coming too. Mug! Do 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 do. Then Pepper, go watch my Let's Play out of it if you don't know about this game. Koopapo! La 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 Now, don't be-
Don't forget that you always have a home in Madame Cerie. Don't let our memory become a burden. You must always be lighthearted and free. Thoughts of the Idolin Wall will always lift your heart. No. Enter my shirt! Oh! <gasps> Gasp! What now? You want some more, eh? He is confused. The victor lives, the defeated die. You know the rules. Your actions yesterday were incomprehensible to me. Tell me, why didn't you kill me? Well, that's a tough question. Are you really that unhappy that I let you live? I'd rather die as a warrior than live as a beggar. Hmm, this is my thinking face. Then come with me. Sidon! What? What are you after? Follow me and maybe you'll understand. Besides, you're pretty good in a fight. We could use someone like you. We're hunting a man down. Hmm. His only constant is his unpredictability. Huh? You say something? Very well. I'll find out what makes you so strong. Okay! What's your name? Call me what you will. Hmm, Lanny called you Red, right? The Flaming Amaranth! Uh-huh. <laughs> Confirm. Some call me the Flaming Amaranth. Okay, okay, I just had a horrible, horrible, horrible thought. What if you- what if you renamed him to Homo? Then he would be the Flaming Homo. Okay. <laughs> Fine, we'll call you Amaranth. I think it was supposed to be Amaranth originally, but there wasn't enough characters. The more the merrier, let's decide our marching order. Same as always. Alright, we'll do fine. Just follow me. Next stop, the Ifa Tree. <laughs> I'm not going to rename him the Flaming Homo. We're doing default names, damn it. Okay. That is it for this video. My name is Whiskar Tanager, and I am playing some Final Fantasy 9. I'll see you all.